guys, stick around because in this video I'm going to take this regular household oven and turn it into a powder coating oven. I want to make the base of this powder coating oven mobile with casters on the bottom of it. So I'm going to use some of this inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing and put some of this eighth inch plate steel on top of that. Kind of build it like a short version and weld it together. This is all bolted together. Uh, weld it together so it's going to be like two feet off the ground with a 24 inch by 24 inch square steel on top of that. That'll act as the base of the powder coating oven. And then I'm going to build the walls on the side off of that. Uh, I was initially thinking about using the two inch square tubing, but it's kind of overkill for what it is and I got this inch and a half just sitting around so I'm gonna get this cut up into indiv individual pieces and I'll um, talk about it before I start welding it all together got the one and a half inch square tubing all cut up it ended up taking less than a full stick so we got four 24 inch pieces for each leg two 24 inch pieces for a part of the top and then three 21 inch pieces for a part of the top and I'll show you why I cut them all like this and why I straight cut the ends when I'm putting it all together. I'm going to plasma cut four flanges that I could weld to the legs of the table. That way I can have this whole setup mobile for moving it around. This is a eighth inch hot rolled steel that I'm cutting it out of. Good to go. Let's just send it. To get the template for this, I basically just threw this down on top of a cheap scanner and then took it into Adobe Illustrator and made something that was exactly the same. And then, like I said, these are eighth inch hot rolled steel. Here's the base all tacked together. It's got a cross brace on the top. Um, I straight cut the ends so that I wouldn't have a miter to fill and then grind down underneath and on top. You also get a little bit of a channel to lay a weld in when you cut them this way. To cover this up there's going to be a little plate that sticks up to the top and it's got a couple holes in it. That way I can bolt the walls of the oven to the base. It's going to be on all four sides. And then I just have to add the caster plates to that when I'm done. So. Let me get this all welded together. I'm getting ready to cut the eighth inch plate that's going to be on top of the base, but it's actually going to be the base of the powder coating oven. And pretty cool feature, I'm using a, a Langmuir Crossfire table and it's got fire control software. And if you go into these little side settings, you just have straight cut settings. So if you want to make a straight cut, you can just program all your inputs in, the length, the uh, pierce delay, the cut speed, all that stuff. Set your settings on your, your plasma torch or your plasma cutter. And then, see I've got this, this white line just so I know that I'm lined up where I want to be. And that's where it's going to cut to. Now I can bring it back to zero. So I'll just run this program, cut a straight line this way, turn the uh, plate, reline up this other line right here, and then cut this, and this will be a 24 inch by 24 inch piece. Now, just like that, I've got a nice two foot by two foot piece with a nice clean edge not rough like when I hand cut it with the torch 
So let me get this off the table. It's probably going to need a little bit of dross cleaned up on the underside and I'll see how it fits onto the base. I got the top clamped in place and I'm pretty happy with the results. It's got a nice edge to it. Uh, it actually really didn't need much cleanup at all. I think what I'm going to do is I clamped these three sides rather than weld it anywhere along the outside edge. I think what I'm going to do is flip it onto this back edge with no clamp so I can get to the underside and then just run a few stitches probably I don't know three on each side and then a couple in the middle just to hold it all together from the inside that way I don't have any grinding to do on the outside if I got any uh, like I said I'm gonna put those plates right here so I won't have any grinding to do or anything like that so let me get it on its side and finish welding it okay got the top plate welded on just a few stitches like I said doesn't need to be welded on too crazy um, I'm so glad I used the inch and a half because this thing is getting really heavy really quick so now I'm gonna flip it upside down or right side up and put the caster bases on it and weld them out I cut the little side plates off camera so that they're ready to go and I ground down any little bits of weld or tack that went over the side and this is gonna basically cap that off and give me a little something to bolt the walls of the powder coat oven into and you can see that uh, this is an inch and a half tubing and you can see that I cut the plate to an inch and a quarter that way I'd have a little bit of a corner to weld into because if you put it against the edge then when you weld you get you get a raised weld like that now I can kinda scoot it over a little bit and have something to lay my weld into and yeah, let me get these tacked and welded into place and then the welding is all finished. The welding's all finished. I got those little tabs welded onto the four corners. So this will be like the front or the back, whatever. And then the sides will screw into the side walls of the oven. Caster plates are all finished. And next thing to do is paint it. And here it is after a quick rattle can prime and paint. Um, this way, rather than having an oven that's sitting on the floor and I gotta bend down to put stuff in it, it's about thigh height, the legs are 24 inches, and then there's casters and stuff, so it's gonna be sitting on top, and yeah, it's gonna be a, a nice working level.